probably man enough to just gently remove. That's five mil. Having done three previously, this is the last one. Ideally, the coil should hook over the uh, so using a um, tracking generator on your analyzer, you can see you've got your four notches and they're adjustable across the band uh, 88 to 108 so you can see, notice as well there's a little bit of transmission loss so you've got to be aware of that when you're doing your measurement but you can always measure that and take it into account This is looking at smooth and real at Winter Hill. I've got 10 dBs in here, I've got 20 dBs in the front end of the analyzer. You see I'm still overdriving the analyzer with these IPs here. Um, so I want to leave the reference level on the top line. So we'll leave it like that and then we'll put our notch filter in and see if we can get 30 dBs of attenuation on on the two carriers. Okay, so now I've got the, the notch filter in circuit. I'm just going to adjust uh, these two notches at the end here while I'm looking at the uh, looking at the screen, the analyzer, and we'll hopefully be able to notch these two out now. You see the internally generated IPs disappearing. That's one. Let's go to the other one. Okay. So I've got around about 30 dBs of attenuation there. So if I now take out that 20 dBs on the front end, so I make that zero dBs. So effectively now what we're looking at, this the reference on this top line is actually neg 20. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So you see we can see right down to neg 90 right down into the air bands and nothing showing which is 